for the renewal, um, I've been working or part of a team working on uh, I, basically what we call the science and medicine gallery. It's officially called the creating and using knowledge gallery. That's three exhibitions. Um, one of them is a medical exhibition and it's a tour of medicine through the five senses throughout history and into the present and we're using a lot of our collection for that and some really important loans from medical institutions across the country. Um, another exhibition is based on the very popular and iconic Crazy Kitchen. We're rejuvenating the original Crazy Kitchen idea there in that it used to be in the context of the senses and observation and what happens when your senses and observation and perception is thrown off. And so within the Science and Medicine Gallery, the Crazy Kitchen is doing the same thing. We have a lot of thematic connections to the senses and observation. And here's the Crazy Kitchen with, you know, the kind of throwing off the, the senses and distorting them. And also we're surrounding it by um, a lot of multi-sensory illusions. So it's gonna be not just a, a cool, popular, crazy kitchen out of context, but there's gonna be all these different illusions now. Then the science um, exhibition, we have um, a lot of pieces from the microscopy collection, so the smallest of worlds, and then from the astronomy collection, both of which we're very strong on. Um, and then something, something new, we're gonna have a whole section on ocean science, a big part of, of um, our collection and a big part of the history of science in Canada, but we haven't really covered it before well, so it's pretty exciting to be covering the, the history of oceanography and present day oceanography. And in, in the astronomy section, we have a really nice section co-curated by um, um, some indigenous star knowledge experts on constellations within some indigenous communities across Canada.